Welcome to the Battle Ready, men and women of the Proverbs. Please join Pastor Rodney Lavalley as he takes us through these rich biblical insights. Hey, God welcome bless. everybody. I'm uh, back tonight. Listen, uh, we've been talking about the men and women of Proverbs. Uh, I'm, I'm thankful for all of you that have been following and those that have been really tuning in and listening to those. I would encourage you, if you watch these, they're only sometimes 10 minutes long, whatever, watch them to the fullest. Watch them. Hey everybody, we are back again with Proverbs, uh, men and women of Proverbs today. And I'll tell you, we got a good one today. I'll tell you what, it's been a while. And uh, as I said, I'm, I'm thankful for all of you that watch, that tune into these, because I'm gonna tell you what, there's a lot of meat in these. There's a lot of, there's just a lot of power in God's word. And that's what you need to be thinking about. When you watch these, really meditate on what's being said because part of the thing that you have to realize as a Christian or as a new believer or maybe you're not even a believer yet and maybe you're watching this for the first time I don't know but either way I will guarantee you that if you will put your trust in the Lord and put your trust in his word as we are going to see today that you will see that God is able to show you he is who he is and that he is able that you are able to trust him you can walk with him and and no matter what you go through in this life he's there with you and so today I want to take it in the book of Proverbs chapter 3 um, We've been talking a lot about, you know, the wisdom of God, the power of God, um, and just all kinds of great things. I kind of went back today and reflected on some of the last Proverbs that I had done. And so I felt like the Lord wanted me to skip over and keep going to uh, on to chapter three. And so today I'm going to do that. If you have a Bible, I would encourage you to either get with it later or uh, if you if you if you as you're watching this, uh, get have your Bible with you and, and get it open to Proverbs chapter three. But like I said, if not, you can flip over there later because you know when I bring these devotions forward in these words, these are something for you just to really get a hold of. It's kind of like a, a starter. It's not meant for you to live on. It's not meant for you to 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 think that well I did that today I'll be good for you know, a couple of weeks or a week or whatever it may be. No. It's, it's important that you learn to get into these scriptures yourself and really uh, meditate on them and really uh, just just really study them and, 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 and draw the richness of God's word out. And you'll see it makes a difference in your life. And so today I want you to keep in mind that we are going to talk about trusting in the Lord. And I'm going to tell you, this sounds easy. Many people say, oh, I trust God, uh, but never thinking to themselves that they're going to have to trust God in a situation that seems impossible or maybe a, uh, a trial or a difficulty in your life in which we all have. But I have learned that it's easier to say I trust in the Lord than to actually have to trust in the Lord. And so we're going to we're going to look at a couple things today and I want you to just follow with me today. If you can, if not, go ahead and listen. But Proverbs chapter three. And uh, I already prayed up uh, before I got into this, so I'm going to just get right into the scripture. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 1, he says, My son, do not forget my law, but let your heart, let your heart keep my commands. For length of the days and long life and peace they will add to you. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. And so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. Now watch this. Pay attention to verse 5 and 6. Now we're going to talk about the other verses. But I, I'm going to tell you, the other verses that, that I just read to you, uh, verses 1 through 4, won't mean a lot to you until you really understand what five and five and six is saying because it all ties together and i want you to to really pay attention so let's look at verse five the first thing he says trust in the lord with all your heart trust in the lord with all your heart now watch this and lean not unto your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths now i want to stop there today because i'm going to i'm, I'm going to take this apart and i want you just to pay attention real close attention to the words and the things that are being said here first of all as we write he says my son do not forget my law now that's important to understand that one of the things that will help you to to really learn to trust in the lord is you got to learn to know the word I'm going to tell you, 
a lot of people say, oh, I trust in the Lord. And, 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 and you know, that sounds good. And, and, and I'm not saying that there are people that don't, but I've learned something that it's a lot easier to trust in the Lord when you keep his law, when you know the word, when you know the commandments that he asks of you and of me as well. And one thing I've learned that my, my faith grows and my strength grows in learning to trust God through situations, because what happens is, what people don't understand is when you start going through problems or you start facing trials or the enemy starts attacking you, whatever it may be, and you're facing a situation that you you just say to yourself, Lord, I, don't, I just don't know how to take, handle this situation. I, I don't know what to do. I, you know, maybe you're getting frustrated or maybe you're, you're, you're just kind of discouraged about things. But one thing I've learned that the way you're going to defeat those things, and I'm going to tell you, one way you're not only going to defeat those feelings of discouragement or or maybe uh, just stress or or whatever it may be, whatever anxiety or whatever, whatever it is in your life that you might be battling at that time, because we all battle different things. But I want you to understand this. It, that the way you're going to combat those things is the word of God. The Bible says God gave us the word and, and the word is, is, is uh, gives us the ability to be able to, to, to stand on God's word and see that it works because it's important that you get the word of God in, 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 in inside you and begin to just meditate on those things. Because what happens is you may not feel like the word of God is really helping you at, at this moment. And you may say, well, I study and I do this and that and the other. And, but the thing is, are you letting it get down into your heart? And here's the thing that you have to understand. The word of God, you can you can study and you can you can memorize scripture, which is all good. But you have to put those things into practice. You know, we always say, well, I, I trust the Lord, never thinking that we're going to have to learn to trust him through something. But see, as we learn to get into word, what happens when you face those situations and you face those tough things that come your way, because we all have them, the word of God prepares you to meet those things. And the word of God prepares you to trust in God. The word of God uh, that helps you to say, you know what? I know that I can stand on God's word. I know that I can stand because it's, I've done it before and I've seen God's word work. I've seen God word uh, come true and I've seen it over and over in my life and what that does is it builds your strength and your faith to trust God even on deeper things and on uh, uh, diff difficult times in your life or maybe there's you know I always tell people I say you go to a situation in our trial and you overcome that trial there will come other things that will come your way and maybe a stronger trial next time but you'll be prepared for it because you've learned to, to bathe in God's word you've learned to trust in God's word you've learned to say Lord I will take your word and hide it in my heart and that's the thing you have to understand is because you learn to to take God's word and use it in your life every day. You 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 use the word to meditate on. You use the word to, in in your prayer time. You use the word as you stand on the word and pray for things. And as you pray for it, you stand and 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 quote those things and says, God, your word says this. Your word says this. You know. When you feel it, I'll give you an example. One of the things that I've learned to do, and this is one of the scriptures I've learned to to that I know I can trust in the Lord for this, is when I felt like I couldn't achieve something, or I felt like I was just not, I was just not where I needed to be, and and maybe I was facing a situation that it was really tough. But what I did was I, re, I went back to Philippians four thirteen. It says, "For I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me." Now, pay attention to this. When you learn to draw from God's word, God honors his word. The Bible says God honors his word even above his name. Because, well, you know, his word is is, is a name. You can't separate them. But, but the Bible does say he honors his word. In other words, when God says, when you, when you come to me and you stand on my promises, he has uh, the the willingness. I'm not going to say no other choice because that's kind of a, I don't know, saying that God don't have no choices. But God is uh, bound by his word to, him, to himself. And so when we learn to quote God's word and we stand on God's word and we obey God's word, God will honor that word that we stood upon and that we are quoting. And that's why he says, my son, do not forget my law. He's talking about the law of the Lord and the word of God. You know, so when you when he said don't forget it part of that is 
you know, it's easy to forget something if you're not in it. If you're not in the word on a daily basis, if you're not in Bible study on, uh, with uh, other people, if you're not uh, getting other materials such as just men and women of Proverbs and drawn from these things, and if you don't draw from other people as well as drawn yourself out of the word of God, let me tell you, it's hard to trust in, in God's word when you when you really don't know it and you kind of just forget about it. And, you know, and sadly, you know, many people, and I pray that you're not this. If you are this way, I hope that you correct that because you can't be a Christian who only tries to live on a devotional uh, uh, word from a preacher, maybe, or even a sermon from Sunday to Sunday, because it's important you get into word yourself on a daily basis. If you enjoyed today's podcast, we ask that you would consider supporting this ministry. You can be a part of sharing the gospel to the lost through your financial support. God bless.